you, you know, eventually they will make a broken grass type, and I'll be dreading the day I'll talk about the day a grass type found relevance in the meta, and Meowskarada might just be that very thing. <laughs> Because Meowskarada just kind of follows up with what Greninja and Cinderace kind of been already, which makes them very viable. It's speedy, offensive, threatening glass cannons, but Meowskarada isn't all that things considered really that frail. He got 76 in HP, 17 boost defenses, which I think actually is quite good. It definitely make it able to take a few hits. And offensively, 1 in 10 is a good offensive stat, and A1 in special attack is... While not necessarily scary, that scary, it is usable at 123 in its speed. Yeah, it's one of the speeder guys. It's now Sceptile, of course, but it has more offensive merits than Sceptile ever could dream of. And now to what makes Meowskarada that viable. Like I said, Greninja had Protean, Cinderace got Libero, and, well, Meowskarada got the Protean ability. This basically means that the first move you use for each turn you're in, you'll turn into that type in, which basically is terrestrializing in, in theory. Um, so this is a really good Pokemon, and while the Progen ability has been nerfed to only be able to change type once per switching, it's still a very viable well ability and can take that in contrast to a Pokemon that are grass and dark, which you know has U-turn issues and you can actually create quite a ferocious Pokemon. When it comes to its level up moves, it gets an array of really good viable options. First and foremost, we get the flower trick, best move for it easily. It is basically seed bomb, but always critting, which means it will never miss whatsoever. Uh, it also learns knockoff and night slash, and it has filler moves in U-turn and uh, play rough. So overall, a really strong utility move pool. While not perfect, it's still one of the better ones. And you know, you get your grasses range, your leaf storms, and you worry seed, but that's not where I use this Pokemon. And on the takes move, you get really good moves. Sucker Punch, Pillow Blizzard, and then you get Utility, Elite Seed, and Ally Switch. Um, and, and Copycat, I guess. But um, one thing I think is great to keep in mind is that Pillow Blizzard might actually be bit stronger than Flower Trick. Flower Trick will be more reliable and as it crits it will be over time doing more damage. But Petal Blizzard due to its functionality might be better. So it's worth keeping in mind. And also Sucker Punch, while it seems weird to have that on a speedy Pokemon, remember people can run Scarf or Priority and all prioritizing them because of your high speed. It's a nice option, I like it. Now we come to TM list, I mean it is a broad TM list. It is quite frankly phenomenal how many moves this gets. I have probably not seen a mon in this generation getting this many moves this Pokemon gets, so I want to kind of cover them as is and take it from there. So first and foremost, setup, you have Nasty Plot, sadly only Nasty Plot, which it sounds bad, but remember, Protein, Stab already, so Nasty Plot might actually not be that bad of an idea anyway. And you also have a great utility in Toxic Spikes. You, you, you kind of figured it wouldn't need it, but just that it gets it and these are that speedy, yeah, that's, that's really, really weird. Almost as weird as it's actually getting spikes too. Yeah, it, it gets spikes, you, why not, right? Now, this Pokemon gets a few really good physical moves. Like I said, it doesn't get Sword Stance, it's kind of whether or not you want to use it, but if you do, you have options. You have Thunder Punch and you have Low Kick, which I think are the most important moves for it. Um, because everything else is kind of covers naturally. I do believe you get Brick Break too. So, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. But, honestly, I'll say the special side, all things considered, are kind of why I want to consider this mod. Because for some reason, it gets Shilling Water, which, you know, why is that a thing that gets it? Uh, he also learns Power Gym, Giga Drain, Aura Sphere, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, of course. Uh, and just overall, like for me, its special move pool is so much broader and opens up a lot more opportunities and combine it with Nasty Plot and Potential Stab. And you can have a really nasty Mon on your hand, and I can't help but loving that. And I also forgot about this, it, once it evolves, it also learns Trick. So this could be great for a choice variant of Meowskarada and disrupt, you know, your potential blissies and offensive shakers. They might actually be dealt with easily due to this. 
Now, when it comes to threat lighting, I actually won't cover that with the Meowskarada. I think it's a very, very solid one as is, and as long as protein is allowed, I don't believe it has any sets that would help it with it. However, if you were to run this and really want to use um, the Terra Blast, I'll actually say run fire, because this is maybe a Pokemon that could struggle versus steel types and potential bug types. So it's a nice option of having a Terra Blast stab that is to really nuke them but but that's really about it now when it comes to its move pool i do believe no matter how you want to go about this you will always run either focus sash in a suicide lead variant um life orb because it has great utility or a choice item because depending on which type of move pool you want to go for either choice will be good for you and then we go to what will you most likely phase off? Well, I can definitely see somebody running the flower flower trick, knock off, and then low kick maybe with filler moves and U-turn. I think that set is solid enough for most scenarios on the physical side. You can run that with life orb, you can run that with a choice band or choice goth, and you will be just fine. Like U-turning choice goffers are incredible. You can also just switch out a knock off or low kick for a trick instead, just to really, you know, hurt them and I think I overall I just think there's a very solid option for it when it comes to the suicide lead as stated due to it getting both spikes toxic spikes knockoff and u-turn I really don't think you will have to be more complex than that I really don't believe there's a reason to you can mix and match with that but I think running spikes with this together with u-turn is solid and then basically knock off and maybe flower trick as a filler move just to kind of get the hurting going but overall I think that set is solid now, as I stated before, due to the getting nasty plot, I, I can't help feeling that this is a set I want to run and I want to run it badly because I think it's going to be great and I really don't believe there's a reason not to consider it. Now, I would go rather easy on this or rather there, there is a set here that I think go into work and I don't believe it should be capitalized in any other way either. Running Aura Sphere and Shadow Ball together with Gear Drain or Energy Ball or if you're going to go with Dark Pulse as your stab. Or a certain shadow ball is such a good coverage overall. There really aren't anything that kind of comes in on this whatsoever. And the, the rest is just fine. Like, you fill that up with an acid plot, and you could be a very scary late game sweeper. But overall, it's an extremely solid mod with a lot of utilities, and definitely, uh, it, it, it's hype. It's for a reason. It's good. It's really good. Now, of course, had Protein not been nerfed, Meow Skirada's viability might have been even higher, but as stands, it still is a very solid mod. Speedy, offensively capable, U-turn and trick and whatnot. It is, what I would say, the most fine definition of an offensive glass cannon who disrupts team, and it does it well. So, Meow Skirada, not looking forward to face you in the meta. Really good offensive typing, and uh, with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.